Brad, what, what got you interested in getting involved in Mayors for Peace? Yeah. Um, certainly a, a long sense of that we need to do something about this. In many ways, it's one of those issues where I know people are passionate about it, but it's often not top of mind. Perhaps a real changing moment for me was when I got to visit Hiroshima recently uh, and, and certainly seeing firsthand impacts and the devastation of nuclear weapons, I think, uh, has really driven, driven at home for me the importance of what Mayors for Peace does around the world. Um, Mayor Fremantle is joining quite a few initiatives in trying to get rid of nuclear weapons. Are we on the cutting edge of, of change given that a lot more people are taking interest in nuclear weapons yeah. now? I think there is a, a renewed interest in this and there is a renewed sense of, of, of urgency in terms of when you got the doomsday clock at three minutes to midnight, there is a real sense of that we shouldn't no longer be complacent about the proliferation of nuclear weapons and there actually needs to be a stronger pathway towards their, their elimination. And, um, it's great to see that there's some really strong interest in here in Western Australia with a number of councils getting behind it, the, Mayor, the, the Mayors for Peace and, uh, and, and furthering these international connections along that path. The gift to the city of Nagasaki, uh, the Peace Park, uh, why have councils joined to, to make this contribution? So this, this gift to Nagasaki, which of course was devastated um, in, in, at the end of World War, World War II by, by nuclear weapons, is a really important step link between Australian Mayors for Peace cities and Nagasaki. And it's a real gift from, um, from Australia to Nagasaki as a way of raising awareness around this, that we shouldn't ever allow these kinds of things to ever happen again. And making that connection, because in many ways Australia feels a long way from it, but actually we're not as far from it as we think. And this is the key also linked with part of this, is the Mayors for Peace Council is joining with Aboriginal communities who were impacted by nuclear weapons as well, and nuclear testing. So what's your message to uh, the cities of the world about Fremantle's part in Mayors for Peace? Um, our message is that we're really proud to be part of a global movement that is pushing towards the elimination of, of, of nuclear weapons. Now's the time where we really need to do this um, and we, we, we hope that over the coming, I mean, this gift and then over actions going forward, we really see much more emphasis on this and global action on it. And is there anything we haven't covered you'd like to say? I don't think so. Thank you.